Intro. All right, let's be honest. Razor scripting can be frustrating. And today I'm going to show you five common mistakes that are super easy to fix once you know what to look for. And yes, I've made every single one of these myself. I'm a professional. Uh, so top five mistakes, like number one, is just not reading the error message. If your script throws an error, just take a breath and read it, okay? Even if it just looks like hieroglyphics, error messages usually contain a hint. Maybe it's a missing parentheses, maybe it's a mistyped variable or just invalid syntax. The message is actually what you exactly wanna share if you go to look for help with somebody else, right? So if someone says, my script's not working, most of the time I wanna know, was there an error? So always include that information. Uh, what's the most common reason for this script error? It's actually invalid syntax. Like, so if you have a starting if statement, you need an end if statement. If you have a for loop, you need an end for it. Those are, those are the major things. Number two, using random weights or even the default wait times. Have you ever put like a wait 500 and just hope that it's working? Yes. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. Razor isn't psychic and random wait times can just cause unstable scripts. For example, if you're using wait for target, it defaults to 30 seconds and that's forever in combat. Uh, you wanna add a timeout like wait for target 5,000, 5, which will only wait for five seconds. Also, if you're checking for in-system messages, you have to make sure that the server actually responded. In my last video, I showed you how you can use Git label to help this. Make sure to go check it out if you've missed it. Tip number three, uh, a script won't call another script correctly. Like that's a big thing people are saying. Well, Razor can only run one script at a time. And if you're calling one script from another, you actually can't go back to the original and it trips a lot of people up in my Discord. You got a Discord, Jace? I sure do, you should join. Also, don't use script name. That's actually gonna find the first match. Instead, use hotkey play script script name. Uh, this one's actually picky about spelling and case, so make sure you double check. On our MageBot scripts and our DexterBot scripts, we have an init file that calls the base. If it's misspelled inside your Razor setup, then that's a common error people will see. Tip number four, timer confusion. Razor timers actually count up and stay alive until you log out. Uh, you need to create them, check them, and then reset them. For example, if not timer exists, set timer test timer, five seconds. And then if it's over five seconds, then yep, it's over and you need to set it back to zero. Without resetting your timers, you'll just be stuck in the condition forever. Tip number five, an item getting stuck on your cursor. This will actually happen when you lift and drop too fast, or maybe you're doing something manually in the game while the script is running. To fix this, you can actually add drop backpack negative one, negative one, negative one at the top of any script where you're doing a lift to confirm that your, your cursor is able to lift. Also, as just an FYI, you need to wait 600 milliseconds between moves. All right, here's a bonus tip for debugging smarter. Are you not sure if your logic is working? Go ahead and add like overhead got here or a system message loop hit. This little trick has saved me hours of guesswork. Outro. All right, what's your worst razor mistake? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Uh, be sure to follow for weekly Ultima Online content every Wednesday. Like, follow, subscribe, uorazorscripts.com for pre-made scripts, my Discord for premium support. I'll catch you next week. Peace.